Good morning. Look at that sunrise colors we've got. So pretty this morning. There's no wind. I told John we're walking out to the bus right now. I said, John, there's no wind outside. It's going to be great. And then he said, yeah. And now that I've said it, it'll be windy. <laughs> Yesterday, I was hoping to get a lot done outside, but oh my goodness, it was just windy and I had that headache. I wasn't feeling good. But after last night's dinner, really made a healthy meal for us. I feel great today, so I don't know what was going on, but I feel good today. And there's no wind, so cross your fingers, it stays that way. So John, guess what? It's Tuesday. What do we do today? Scouts. And guess what? On Friday. Friday is the 14th of February. You know what that is? What? Valentine's Day. To my so what are we going to do with the scouts tonight? Yeah, do Valentine stuff. We're gonna make all the scout parents crazy because what did we get the scouts? Yo yos. Yo yos. Yep, we got yo yos. So you've all been warned, scout parents. Oh, but you won't see this till tomorrow. <laughs> oh, John, we're terrible, aren't we? Oh, yeah. The sun is finally peeking up over there, and I love it. See how the trees over there, they get topped with the sunlight. Those trees are greeting the sun, saying, good morning, sun. Could you imagine being the tallest thing and getting to feel the sun first? Yeah. Right? Oh, it's a school bus. All right, this is today's brunch. Two eggs with a small zucchini and a stalk of celery. It's been uh, sauteing in some butter. And I will also pair with this an avocado. This will be my push through until, oh, the boys get home around three. So this will help get me through the day. I've got some video editing that I'm finishing up and then I'm going outside. The wind, of course, has picked up. But uh, get some things done outside before the kiddos get home and see where the rest of the day leads us. Oh yeah, we've got to figure out what I'm doing with scouts tonight. We've got valentines, we've got their valentines to give them, and I should probably make some goodies, because I said I would. And then have to come up with some sort of a STEM activity for them. They've also been doing knots, lashings, and hitches. But it's Valentine's week, so we'll come up with a really fun STEM activity to do with Valentine's. You see Hazel laying there taking a nap. Well, she was taking a nap. I yelled at her as I came through the gate. She had her head down underneath her leg and I tell you what, my heart stopped in my chest. I thought the worst thing had happened. I thought this poor old goat of Henry's had passed away. Because Aurora and Z are 11, and I think that makes Hazel 10. I think she's either the exact same age as Aurora and Z, or she's a year younger. But I'll tell you what, my heart just absolutely stopped in my chest. The death nap is a seriously real thing this time of year. They're trying to absorb the sun and taking naps that... Ugh. Goat, you're going to make me have a death nap from my heart doing that. She's just like, yeah, uh-huh. Bring me a goat cookie. <sighs> Alright, well, now that I have recovered my senses and the goat is not dead, I'll continue with what I was doing. So one of my favorite things to plant, just because it's hardy and very versatile here, is these green onions. Now, yep, I can go to the store and get a huge bundle for like a dollar. So it's not like I'm doing it to save money. But at the same time, by planting them, like these are from the store. These are from a bundle from the store. Anyway, um... I can take them, see the little roots here on the bottom, and I can put them right directly in my soil, wherever I want. They kind of make really fun um, 
decorations. Like they stay green pretty much all winter long here, unless we get a really weird winter. They stay green pretty much most of the season. So they're kind of fun to look at. I've got this flower bed here that I've been putting in along our driveway. Just poke a hole in there, drop the root in there, and get it fairly well buried just because it is February. Let it have a little bit. And I'll just go along my beds and do that in different various locations. And before long, they'll be popped up and growing. And actually, before I plant those, I'll walk over here. Let's see if I can find... I noticed I had one growing in here the other day. Let's see. Oh, there's a piece of trash that blew in. There it is. See, okay, there I've got one growing right there. So it's just kind of fun to be able to have at least something green growing. And that guy right there, he's pretty determined. It's actually growing in pretty much nothing but wood mulch. There's not really much soil underneath it. I didn't put much compost or anything underneath it. So that guy's growing in wood bark. And I put that in probably last summer, uh, to summer 2019. So made it over winter time. I mean, we had a mild winter, but still that thing made it through a few snowstorms and some seriously cold cold moments. So yeah, I can take this bed here that's along the side of the pasture and I can put onions in there. Now, why take the time to do this? Again, it's only a dollar at the store and you get a good sized bundle, right? Very true. But the longer I let it grow here in my flower beds, it'll become healthy to my soil and then I can harvest. And actually those things, if you've ever grown them, they they actually get a bigger root ball on them to where they're like a small onion and you can use them even more versatile. And they'll also build a, a larger green tube, which is just awesome in certain dishes. I love those larger uh, leafy tubes that they get. Um, so yeah, I'm rambling. But yeah, they also make really pretty flowers. They'll, they, I let them flower and reseed and then I've got more of them. And, uh, when they do that, the uh, the bees absolutely love them. Are you enjoying your snack? They love kitchen scraps. Keeps them occupied and from being too bored and tearing things up. In between breakfast, lunch, and dinner of hay, they get this stuff. They also make the most hilarious faces. All right, well, I'm rambling now. I'm just filling time. So, I'm going to go back over here to my flower bed and keep planting. I'm going to put these onions in. Put it, I've got so many right there. I've got various places I can put them. So, yep, this is a flower bed that I've created next to one of our sheds. Just because it gets some decent rain runoff right there. And I want to see what else I can grow along the driveway. What else can I put in tight spaces? It's kind of an experiment. What else can I do with the space that I have? So... Let's see what I can do. What? Crazy dog. She says, I'm helping, honest. So I can't remember now if it was Saturday. No, it had to be Sunday that I started and did this bed here. And then I said I was going to try to finish up that day. I'm Missy. With, <laughs> with this bed. And then got to the end of the day. Hi. And I was running out of time. Get out. And so, you know, life, it's funny how you're like, no, I've got this much time left. And then all of a sudden, mom brain kicks in. You're like, yeah, I kind of need to get kid stuff and everything else done. So it didn't happen. And then yesterday, Monday, I had that screaming headache. Just every time I'd put my head down, it would start pounding even worse or, you know, moving too much. So didn't get much done yesterday. But today I feel great. And so... Finishing this bed up here. I've already got one bucket of goat compost sitting in there that I just spread. I'm going to move the rocks and the pretties right there, scoot them over, get one more bucket load of goat compost, and then... Sorry, the dog. <laughs> she just cracks me up. Anyway, get that se uh, second bucket of compost, then go get a bucket or two of wood chips, put that on top, and then redecorate the bed with put the, the everything nice and pretty all back. Hey, what are you doing? Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Get out of my flower beds. Hey! 
dude, the flower bed is not for you to crawl in. So I was putting this flower bed little fence up, and she just looked at me the whole time like, you think that's going to keep me out of your flowers? You're nuts, lady. <sighs> Crazy dog. Get out of the flowers! Not for you to, in seriously, stop inspecting things. Oh my goodness. Well, I got some of my little sticks in the ground for my fence, but believe it or not, the ground is frozen. We've had nights in the 20s, and this spot doesn't get sunlight until about an hour before the sun goes down, and the gosh darn it, the ground is just not frozen. Stuck between a rock and a hard place. I want to get it done, but it's frozen. Yes, and you're still helping. And that's what you do with old broken kid toys. They make cute little flower bed toys. You, on the other hand, stay out of my flowers. No, out. And just like that, flower bed number two is done. I was stubborn, brought out a bottle of hot water, and dumped it in the ground where it was frozen until the ground gave up and I could get my stick in there. See that? They match. The dog is not impressed. Ta-da! It'll look better as soon as everything starts growing and filling in. Today's project is a gigantic horseshoe for the game Horseshoes. <laughs> Uh, everybody else have a teenager that likes to just give him the scowl? Yeah. Henry's a professional <laughs> scowler. He uh, figures if he gives me the ugly face, I'll turn off the camera. <laughs> uh, children, they're so much fun.
So this is four potatoes that have been sliced, one bag of frozen um, green beans, and one whole onion, diced, and then two ears of corn sliced in half. And it's just been allowed to cook in here on a medium-low for about 45 minutes, being stirred occasionally, and it's being cooked in chicken broth. So, really simple, really easy to do. Salt and pepper to taste, quick and easy, and everything's cooked together. I didn't have to try to do more dishes, pots, pans, anything like that. I just tossed everything together.